Okay, let's quickly do the uh, four queen problem using forward checking because I already did a uh, four queen problem using backtracking, right? And now I'm going to do it with forward checking and then I'm answering your question. Uh, previous time when I was doing it on the board, I said queen one, row one, queen two, row two, queen three, row three, queen four, row four, right? And then we move them in the columns. Uh, to see which columns we can move. And then we also added the constraint that they cannot attack, for example, diagonally. Now here, uh, we have queen one at column one, queen two at column two, queen three at column three, and queen four at column four. And now these are representing your rows, right? Uh, so for example, if you see in a slide Q2 and these empty spaces and then three, four, it means that queens two cannot be in row one, that is removed. Queen two cannot be in row two, that was also removed from the options. So this means that queen two can only be either in, uh, this is queen two column, right? Could be either in row three or row four. Now let's start uh, to do it with uh, forward checking. So what do we do in forward checking? We said that we always check all the direct neighbors as soon as we uh, assign a value, right? For instance, you assign one to Q1, which is your queen one, right? Now, uh, what would happen here? If I assign one here, it will affect queen two, three, four in some ways, right? So what would be the options for queen two then? Which, which options are removed from queen two? Queen two is fixed at column two, right? So in this example, queen two is fixed at column two. You could do it with fixed rows. So you will see that is, there is no difference. Uh, previous time I did with fixed row. Now this time I'm doing with fixed column, so it's the same. Now queen two is fixed at uh, column two. If we put queen one at row one, which row should be removed from queen two? One and two, right? Because the, if you put queen two here, right, or here, if you put it at row one, it can be attacked. And here also it can be attacked. So you cannot, they can, queens can attack each other diagonally, row, or in the same column, right? So you cannot put it here or here. But you can put it here, right? And you can also put it in the fourth row. So these two options are removed. And so uh, these are blocked for queen two, right? And then for queen three also, if you put queen one here, queen three also cannot be here, right? And also cannot be here, because this is also diagonally with respect to queen three. The same for queen four. You remove uh, row one and row four, because row one is uh, where you put your, your first queen, so no other queen can be here. And then also diagonally, it cannot be in, uh, in the fourth, fourth row, right? And then, so you did the first assignment, you removed the values from all its neighbors, right? And now we go to the next one, which is Q2. Now, Q2 was left only with three and four. So if we go with three here, that is the third row, if you put queen two in the third row, what are the effects on queen three and four? So you have to check that they are not in the same row, which is already blocked, right? They shouldn't also be diagonally attacked. So you cannot put, for example, queen three here, right? And you cannot put queen three here. So row two and row four should be removed from queen three, right? And then how about queen four? If you put queen two here, uh, can I put queen four here? Yes. Can I put queen four here? No. And here is already blocked. So these are the new constraints uh, added. So these are blocked and removed. And so we reach to a place where Q3, uh, there is no, uh, no value left for Q3, so we have to backtrack, right? So it means that uh, queen two cannot be in row three, right? So we go, for example, with queen two at row four. So this one didn't work. So we go with queen two, uh, so we here we backtrack, and so we have to reassign these values because we went to the previous state, right? And now we have Queen two, put it in the fourth place. Let's say put it, for example, here. Queen two at row four. What is the impact on queen three? Queen three cannot be here, and this is already blocked, right? 
so it should be removed from queen three. Queen four cannot be in the same row and also cannot be here, right? Because this is diagonally attacked. And so you have to remove also this one, the, uh, the second row from Q4. And you update the values of Q2 and Q4, Q3 and Q4. And now from here, uh, next we want to go like to Q3 in, this, uh, in the first row, right? So we positioned Q1, we positioned Q2, and now we put Q3 in the second place, that is here. Now what would be the impact on Q4? Q4 cannot be in this row and cannot be also in this row because we'll be attacked diagonally. So again, we reach a dead end, right? Because uh, they can be attacked uh, by each other. So now here, again, we have to backtrack, right? And this time, if you backtrack, you have tried, for example, all the values of Q2, right? So you have to backtrack to Q1 and then choose another, for example, value. So I didn't continue, but you can continue yourself. So you can go with Q2 and then see if you, for example, put queen two in row two, right? Then what are the, um, for example, constraints on queen, for example, two? Then it cannot be here, right? And then you, the same way you um, update all the values. 